Hey there folks, welcome to the Auto Universe. We'll start off today's news with the 2020 Porsche Taycan is the first real challenge for Tesla. But before we get into the news, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to keep you up to date with the latest auto news and reviews. Now, let's get right into the news. The Taycan has been the subject of an extensive teaser campaign, but there are still a lot of things we don't know about the zero emissions Porsche. In the meantime, we can check out the adjacent final batch of teaser images showing the swanky LED headlights that bear a striking resemblance of those of the 2015 show car, posted on the company's French website. The images are part of a photo shoot conducted right before the big debut and allow us to see more of the design details. If history has taught us anything, it's that a road-going production model hardly ever matches the exciting design of a concept. Nevertheless, the Taycan sedan is shaping up to be quite the looker, judging by the latest image published by Porsche France, and we can observe the strong 911 influences in the sloping roofline. The Taycan, Porsche's pivotal step into the high performance and high price end of the EV landscape, is quick, convertible, and likely to be a serious Tesla contender. The Taycan, pronounced Taycan, not, not Taycan like what is said, is at least as important to Porsche as the first generation Cayenne. Not in terms of profit, but for reshaping the arc of company's future vehicle. The automaker was determined not to do an electric SUV, and it knew a sports car wouldn't be able to sell in high enough numbers to satisfy global regularity requirements. So Porsche landed on a fastback sedan's configuration, which is a great move from Porsche. The Taycan, the Taycan is very nearly the same length as the Tesla Model S and 3.4 inches lower than the Panamera, but it has a substantially lower roofline than either. But Tesla certainly deserves credit for doing the very expensive, money-losing research that proved there's a market for luxury EVs. And sure enough, Porsche had 30,000 orders in hand globally even before the Taycan's public debut. Much of the futuristic interior has already been revealed, complete with a plethora of touchscreen both at the front and rear. There's a massive 16.8-inch curved display serving as the instrument cluster and accompanied by a 10.9-inch touchscreen and a smaller 8.4 touch panel mounted lower on the center console. Really, it's a touchscreen fast. Even the front passenger can have a touchscreen. While the optional 4-zone automatic climate control comes around with 5.9 touch panel for those sitting in the back, as you are probably well aware by now, the EV stud guard will initially be offered in high-end trim levels with dual electric motors, all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering. It will have well over 600 horsepower in normal use, with an overboost function increasing output more than 700 horsepower and 750 pound feet of torque for 2.5 seconds. The electric punch will give it some supercar level of acceleration, despite the fact it's not exactly going to be a light car. The Turbo S numbers are big, 750 horsepower and 774 pound-feet of torque and a price starting at $186,350,000. The less expensive $152,000 Turbo will have 670 horses and 626 pound-feet of torque, if you think somehow it's not a lot of horses. The difference between the two is primarily at the front axle, where the S larger inverter enables more front motor thrust. You get those outputs for only 2.5 seconds at a time. After that, both models drop to 616 horsepower, as if it was not enough, which can be maintained for 10 seconds. The Taycan's 162 miles per hour top speed is achieved in top gear at the motor's 16,000 rpm redline. 